Ooh, solid. You make it, we mock it. Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flare Mouse. Today we have not one, not two, but three different types of projectiles sent to us by Evan Perry. The first type is just a real basic cylinder shape. You've got a washer on the back and a screw. And I believe all these projectiles are made out of porcelain, even though I only took ceramics in college. The second type is a little more elaborate. It has a brass stem on the back and it is the heaviest of the projectiles that we will be testing today. Fancy. And the third design, which we have four of these to test, uh, has a floral design still on the nose and it is kind of a semi-diabolo shape. So it might be self-stabilizing. We're gonna place each projectile on top of an FS-12 gas seal, but we're also gonna be using discarding sabos on these. The sabos do three things. They keep the projectile centered in the barrel. They allow engagement with the rifling no matter what the projectile is made out of. And lastly, they protect the barrel from direct contact with that projectile. Now you can imagine the amount of damage something as hard as porcelain would do to a barrel. We don't want it to contact the barrel at all. So that's the reason why we asked designers of projectiles to keep the dimensions to 0.675 inches. We could use the Sabo. They can make the projectiles out of almost anything and we can make them work. I painted a little marking on the tail of each one. That way we can see if they're spinning or not spinning. Anyway, let's head out to the test range and see how these things do. Welcome back, Talflator folks. Officer Greg out here and Jeff behind the camera. It's been a little while, but today we have a special round made by Evan Perry in Texas. You remember Evan, he sent away, he's sent us quite a few other uh, creations that he's made. These happen to be uh, made out of porcelain. And so we're gonna try these porcelain rounds and see if they hold together. We've got a smooth bore with us today, of course. And then we brought back Danny's uh, rifled, uh, rifled bore. What do you call? It? Yeah. I'm at a loss for words. That'll work. Uh, we're gonna you try. Know that, that whales aren't fish, Greg. <laughs> hey everyone, I did know that whales aren't fish. Good lord. A cool little submission sent in by Kyle Watkins in Wales. Not the big giant fish, but the country in uh, the UK. <laughs> I guess people don't know when they hear a bad joke either. 8,000 people didn't get the joke and 8,000 people didn't look down further in the comment section and realize that 7,999 <laughs> other people had already commented on it. Good Lord. People. Okay, enough of that. All right, so we're going to try these porcelain rounds downrange. Um, Brandon's waiting for us down there. Let's see if they hold together and let's see, put your, your uh, predictions in the comment section. Are they going to fly better out of a smooth bore or out of a rifled barrel. You Some of them, I think, need rifling. Yeah, and by the time you see this, you will have actually seen these rounds before I did. I have not seen them before they were loaded, so you'll be able to tell if they're a, a smooth bore concoction or a rifled bore. Drink. They're all color coded too. There's three different designs to yes. keep, just to make things more confusing. Okay, first shot, and which one do you got? The orange one? This is the orange one with the black. So it's it's mostly cylindrical. Yes. It, we're using a smooth bore. Let's see how that does. We're about, oh, how far? 12 yards or something? That's about, yeah, 12 yards. Not terribly far, but we got to start out close and... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm out ready, I'm armed and ready. Here we go. Ready? Yep. That looked pretty, pretty good. Let's look at the high-speed camera footage and see what happened. As you can see, the projectile is tumbling around in the air. Now this is traveling around 1,500 feet per second or just a little faster than 450 meters a second. We're gonna try it now out of a rifle bore and see if we can't stabilize the spin of that thing and make it go a little more, I don't know, a little more where we want it to. A little to. more better. Or at least, <laughs> at least nose to the front. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Okay, now using full rifling, I am ready. Here we go. I think it went through. I saw something hit the dirt behind yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like it hit the center of the X. Will rifling give it better stability? Now we can see that the projectile has broken, 
it's in multiple pieces and uh, it's just more or less a catastrophic disaster. Is it the fault of the rifling? Well, let's continue to test and find out. Okay, now the first one, what, where'd the first one go? It, it so missed the vest, the right? The first one over the top of the vest up here, the vest actually sits a little lower than the carrier, so because it went higher than the X, it missed the Kevlar, went through his back and out into the, the yeah. schoolyard full of children out there in the background. Don't don't say that because I'll believe you. <laughs> if, if you say if you there's a fact you said that joke that oh, fish are whales. I mean they're gonna think there's there's nothing back there. We we looked. People have no sense of humor anymore, Jim. They really don't. They oh my gosh. Okay, well, getting back to the boring reality of life, <laughs> this one went. Uh, let me show you here. Went a little bit low and right. I was aiming for the dead center. It went low and right by an inch or two. I peeled away his fabric here, and here's what I found. You can see. Oh, it's all broken up. Yeah, you can see the black uh, coating on the outside of the porcelain. Yeah, it was just on the front of it. But it's just a bunch of white gravel. Looks like a broken. Ooh, a broken dream. <laughs> well, it does look like a broken dream, <laughs> and a broken spark plug. <laughs> and don't you shoot it at a, at a car window. You guys should shoot a spark plug at a car window and see if it'll break it. <laughs> I mean, if you shoot a, a, <laughs> a, a gummy bear at a car window, it's going to break it. Yeah. There is a lot. There is a lot of porcelain down in there, but it is all cracked up. So. And it didn't go through or nothing, right? It did not go through the back. Yeah, that, that one broke apart partially out of the, you know, just from the shock. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm worried about the other test now. So much for shooting grandma's teacups now. Oh yeah. Okay, we're at 17 yards now with the next design. And there's only, again, there's only two of these, so it's, it's tough to, you know, if we were to make a whole video about those, it'd be a very short video. <laughs> All right, uh, and this one's gonna go out of a smooth bore and then we'll try rifle. Right, okay, these, if they don't break apart, that, may, that seems to be uh, an issue, and hopefully it's not a trend. You probably see it. You said these have a brass tail? Yeah, yeah. Oddly enough, that was the name of a gentleman's club in Omaha that I, uh, <laughs> I once worked at. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Oh. 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 Now we are using a smoothbore. We can't blame the rifling on this one. Now with over 15,000 Gs of acceleration, that ceramic slug may have had some flaws inside of it that allowed it to break apart. Now porcelain may be very hard, but it's also very brittle. Okay, now with rifling, huh? Not having a lot of uh, faith in this? Yeah. But we have one more design to try after this. Well, they hold together down range. Yep. Here we go. Ooh, solid. And just when we're ready to give up, we finally get a stabilized, well-flying and somewhat accurate projectile that stayed in one piece. Now even in real time, you could tell that it was a nice, solid hit. This definitely gave us some hope for the rest of the test. Okay, smooth bore with the, the third design, and we got four of these. Okay. This, these are going to have completely different ballistics, so that's, we got to start from scratch again. All right. So we're, we're going to go with smooth bore, see how those fly, and then try rifling. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go, on the cocaine. Take your time. Okay, so you missed. We get concrete, but we yeah. missed we the cocaine. Held together. Well, the good news is it did not break apart. It stayed in one piece. The bad news. It just was not stable without any spin. So the end result is we had a projectile that was not as accurate as it should have been. But it did make a pretty spectacular dust cloud. Okay, well, that one tumbled, so we're gonna have to go full rifling for the rest of them. All right. And maybe, maybe it'll work, I don't know. I have confidence, Jeff. I wanna hit that bottle so bad, I mean, Oh, that's a small target. Yep. 17 yards. Okay, I am rolling and ready. All right. It's a bottle of grundle powder, isn't it? I don't know. Here we go. Oh, oh it shattered. 
Yeah, that didn't even get. That's not home. good. Frustration returns. This one completely shattered, turned into a uh, kind of porcelain buckshot, and everything missed the target. Yeah, don't squeeze the trigger too hard. That's true. That's the. It, okay. shoots, them, it shoots them too fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I'm ready. Here we go. Slow squeeze. Oh, at least we had concrete. Yet another failure, but not as bad as the last one. This one, it looks like it broke in half. Only a small piece hit the concrete. Some days everything works out perfectly. Other days, we have this. Okay, this is our last one. I, I wish there was a few more. I could have loaded them a different, you know, I might have loaded them a little too hot. I didn't think I'd, you know, only 20 grains of powder. Let's see if this last one holds together. Remember to squeeze the trigger lightly. Slowly, so it right? It doesn't shoot too hard. Yeah, it'll be, they're more accurate that way. That's a joke, people, by the way. You gotta explain when you're joking. Of course, yeah, these, these days. It's insane. Kids these days. People don't understand jokes. Whale's not a fish, OG. <laughs> Here we go. Did you know that Wales isn't a country? <laughs> Even though everywhere on the internet it says it's a country? Yeah, it's not a country, Jeff. It's yeah. the province of the UK. It's not part of England. It's a, England. a county uh, right. of UK or something. Yeah, okay. All right. It's like Scotland, Ireland, you know. Okay, I'm ready. On the little black dot in the center. Okay. Okay, that that might have been the money shot. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> Had this one also been a failure, you probably would have never seen this video. As you can see, we had excellent spin, excellent stability, and pretty good accuracy. But look at the fragments coming out of the back of that ballistic gel. And because that porcelain slug more or less exploded inside that ballistic gel gummy bear, which weighs 12 pounds, we had a lot of energy transfer. And even the bear is excited as he does the truffle shuffle. All the projectiles had the same powder load, 20 grains of tight wad. Only a few of the projectiles had the strength to be able to handle that shock. And that leads me to believe that some of these just had internal weaknesses that caused the failures. I sure hope everyone hasn't clicked away yet. <laughs> they, because they will have sometimes <laughs> things work out at the end, right? Right. So I was aiming here for the dark dot and we hit a little bit high and right, but check this out. It left the red paint that you put on the uh, porcelain round. Yeah, I put it on the nose of it just so it wouldn't look so stupid. I don't know if you can see that cloud in there. <laughs> look at that. That round exploded, exploded inside the bear like Vin Diesel. Exploding inside a bear. Look at that. Finally, not not the most accurate one, not the most reliable. Very frustrating when things don't always work out. And often I will blame the way I loaded them, the powder load or something like that. Or the trigger squeeze or right. It's rarely you. It's usually Coriolis the way effect. I loaded it. That one's had good spin, accuracy, eh. Yeah. But overall, that's I would hate to get hit by that thing. Well, they would suck if they ever hit you, and if they stayed in one piece to hit you, uh, they would suck. They would definitely oh, man. not be the, fun. You, can you imagine what the surgeon would have to go through to oh. get all that out? You can't x-ray it, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Geneva <laughs> Convention. All okay. Of, okay. All you, YouTube just, legal minds and the YouTube surgeons, please comment below about how these could be smuggled through an airport uh, scanner. Oh, I didn't even think about that. And how, remember the Glocks that couldn't be smuggled? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then how surgeons would never get through that and it would be a great home defense round because you know, whatever it wouldn't go back and <laughs> smash your wife's, wife's uh, ceramic plates behind you anyway no these would not be a go home defense round they barely held together we were a little i don't know underwhelmed let's say um we got best accuracy out of a uh, out of a rifle bore yeah and it's again still, there's three different designs yeah. all with three different ballistics and but we thank evan for sending them out anyway if evan didn't send anything well, we would be what would we do it? I'd be like home, yeah, watching cat You'd videos or something, painting the house and doing productive things. <laughs> right, I'd have to mow my lawn. Instead, or something. we're out here messing around <laughs> in the wild. But I think I think that was worth. Uh, you know, I was I was so worried that we wouldn't get any cool results, and that is definitely cool. Jeff, every one of our results on Tal Flater Mouse is a cool result. Okay. Every one. Um, no. But either way, we appreciate Evan for sending them out, and we appreciate yep. you guys for stopping by and watching this underwhelming video. 
and uh, we hope you like and it. And a little surprise at the end, huh? There's always a little surprise at the end, John. Yep. That's, uh, that's the nature of, of the game. Here, okay. I'm Top Fighter Mouse. Let's continue. All right. We'll see you guys on the next video. Tell Flader Mouse shirts and hoodies and stickers and stuff are available. If you want to support the channel, it's a good way. We only make a couple bucks. We try to keep the prices as low as possible so you don't have to spend a bunch. Thanks.